Keep us everybody, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be working on the Impala and I'm having a little dilemma with it. So usually when I start this car, I start it for like three, four minutes and then uh, move it out, park it and move either whatever car I'm gonna start working on. But the other day I decided to turn it on and idle it and the temperature started going up to 220, 225. And then when I rev it up a little bit, hold it, it would go down. So, uh, for all of you that don't know, this is a 400 small block, board 30 over, so it's a 406. And then it's got a stage three cam from Summit, 1103. Headers, uh, 600 CFM Edelbrock. And uh, I was on Google and YouTube seeing why, one of the reasons why it would overheat. And when it does, yeah, it's usually the thermostat is stuck open, but it's got a new thermostat. And then uh, they were saying that you need a fan shroud, which I do not have, but I do have two electric 12-inch uh, fans. So I came to the conclusion that it might be my lower pulley. Uh, that's a billet underdrive pulley right there. And when I first put the motor in this car and broke it in, I did it with uh, this one right here. All right, there's a three groove and it's bigger. And I have no problem. So I found this in my shed and I was trying to remember why I didn't use this, why I didn't keep it on there. And I don't remember why. So that's what I'm thinking the problem is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that one off, compare sizes, and then put the other one back on and see what happens. So let's measure real quick. So as you can see, this is a billet for a short water pump, because it's flat, and it's a three row. It's about six and a half, all right? This looks to be an OEM one, but it's flat, short water pump with three grooves. This one's a, Seven and three eighths. Six and a half. So that's like an inch and a quarter less. How about, you know, difference. So I'm hoping that this one's turning the water pump too fast. And we need to throw this one on. So let's do that real quick. I'm still trying to think why the reason is I didn't use this. I don't know why. Hopefully it's because I wanted to get all billets. Now let's see if I'm gonna need a bigger belt.
almost there. All right, so this, so this belt is 15,550. So I'm gonna need one that's like a 15,560. So let me go get one real quick. All right, so here we go. I got the 15,565. I have the 15,560 but i went bigger remember guys bigger is not always better said nobody ever of course you want bigger everything bigger motor bigger turbo bigger shoe size eh? It's too big. <laughs> Gosh dang it. I knew it. I knew it was going to be way too big. But uh, everybody wants to go bigger. Bigger is always better, no matter what they say. <sighs> Back to the store I go. Gosh dang it. Sorry, you guys, it's fault. All right, we're back. So now, I got 15.555. So stop, the one I had before was 15.550. I went smaller, but I still stand by my work. I still stand by what I said, bigger's always better. Mm. <laughs> Goes in the middle, goes in the front. Oh, you got it. There we go. Cool. I think this belt is too thick. Again, thick is always good too. But, uh, can you see? It's like, it's not all the way in the grooves. But, it'll work for now. So I'm going to tighten it up and then we're going to start it and see what happens. Alright, so we got that on. So we're putting the stock one back on. Uh, got the alternator belt on, but I do not have this one on yet. So let's see what happens. Cold start. Yeah. Cold, cold, cold. This thing doesn't like to start very easily. So. Oh, maybe it will. Come on. Too much? Not enough. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, you whore. I don't have no 
little choke on, that's why it's doing that. So. I think we fixed it i don't know yet though i'm gonna so i'm gonna let it run for about 5 10 15 minutes i'm gonna adjust the timing to uh, 14 again and see what happens i'll come back with you guys real quick So I had it idling for a little bit and uh, it would go up to uh, 200 and then drop to uh, what is it like 190 and then it go up and then drop so I'm happy but I'm not satisfied so I think what I'm gonna do is <clears throat> I'm gonna take off the electric fans I'm gonna put a clutch fan and a fan blade and get the shroud and see how that looks because also there's too much space right here you know I like the shroud because it kind of like I don't know it makes a hole so I guess that's it for today and also I already ordered my exhaust system I got an H pipe and two super tans so hopefully uh, next video of the Impala is gonna be us driving it to uh, 
the exhaust shop. I'm excited to see how it's going to sound. So, thanks for watching. Come back for the future videos.